Okay, Christy, we worked a little bit more on your um, pentatonic scales. I'll just review them quickly so that everything's here in one place. Your major pentatonics were rusty. That's open two four two four two. A is the same, but we introduced this idea of the B shift. Whatever note hits the B string moves up one fret to compensate. When you play your D scale, that final note will be at the third fret. Now you can do your minor pentatonics, many more open strings, open three, open two, open two. It's going to be open three, open two, no change, but when you get to the B string, it's first to third fret. There's your D minor pentatonic. Okay, we added a new chord today, which is D over F sharp. Okay, your starting point in your mind should be G since it's very similar. Take your first finger, shift it up. That's the first step. To the sixth string, and tuck the second finger all the way down into the G string at the second fret. And the pinky you don't really need; you can kind of lose that last. And the A string should be muted, hopefully, and so should the first string. And it's really just six, four, three, two. But you can strum them all. And then you want to practice transitioning from that to G. And then the little, the next section goes C N nine D G. So this is the other one that you have to try to memorize and get real fluent with. And G is still two measures. C N nine D G. And then for now, just go back to the first section, and that'll be your loop for this song. seventh chords. No, I just really want you to memorize those chords. Stop using your cheat sheet because I don't think you need it. Oh yeah, there wasn't some new information. The C chord, you want to start with your third and second finger. Make it very comfortable. Strum on that chord. It's your James Taylor chord, the C major seven. You can move it up two frets. And then here at the fifth fret, add your first finger to the second string. Then try moving this back down to position. And then pretty soon this C chord will start to feel natural. Once you get it and it's doing well, shift these two fingers down. That gives you an F. So this, this is the start of yet another chord cycle, a C and an F, which is a 1 and a 4. Okay, keep working on the heavy. And